pretty filthy in there. It's not so much dirt as it is rust. You can see that it's been you see it's been sitting for a while. And it was shedded some, but not a lot. If you look, you know, if you come down here, you can see that cam, and it's pretty rusty. Back there, the lifters are probably stuck. You got a little bit of rusty fur growing on everything. The main bearings over here got some rust on it <clears throat> in the front. They look at the crankshaft here. The stuff wipes off mainly, so it's not horrible, horrible, but it's not ideal. Then you look at your connecting rod here, and it's pretty furry. You know, it'll have to come out and get cleaned up. Back there's the end of the cam, and then that vertical piece is the oil pump back in there, and it's all got rusted and stuck. And back here at this back main bearing, it's pretty darn ugly. So. so right now you're just getting inside and filming the... So what are your thoughts as you look in this one? One of the messiest ones I've been into so far, so I think I got my work cut out for me. So I think my plan of attack, since it is stuck and stuck good, I think the first thing I'm going to do, I sprayed a bunch of the penetrating oil, or I don't know whether, what's that stuff called? Um, Aerocroil on it, sprayed it all in here, and I sprayed some up in the cylinder. It's the number three cylinder is the one that's stuck. I pulled the plugs out of it, ran my bore scope in there, and number one, number two, and number four were pretty dry, and number three had liquid in it, so that means that that's the one that's stuck in the cylinder. So number four were pretty dry, and number three had liquid in it, so that means that that's the one that's stuck in the cylinder. So. Good thing is the cylinders don't look too bad, um, but Lord knows what else is in here causing it to stick. So the first thing I think to do is I gotta pop the <coughs> take the steering shaft off and I'm take the magneto spark advance off, pull off the muffler, pull off the hood, take off the valve cover. Pull the rockers, pull the push rods, jerk the head off of it, and I may have to, I don't know, build a fire in there on that number three cylinder or come up with some kind of creative way to see if I can't get it to budge. The problem that you can run into is, is when you push one down, it tries to push others up, and a lot of times you'll push a liner up. So if you got two pistons that are stuck and you get one of them to move and the other one's stuck, and it's on the upward stroke when you push this one down, the piston and liner will come up. So you gotta come up with a way to hold the liners in place. But then, you know, I'm still running against all that stuff, that rusty stuff in the bottom end. So I think I'm gonna spray it some more and let the penetrant do its thing. And, <clears throat> and then um, while it's 
penetrate and stuff that's cooking, I'm going to start taking the top off this thing and getting in there and see what I can see. I kind of had a pretty good idea of what I was getting into when I got this tractor when I drove over and saw it. And uh, yeah, I wanted a challenge and, and the, like I said, the price of it was, was fair that it's a gamble. So uh, I really wanted a gray S20 because I got a couple of red ones and I just wanted a gray one. What the heck? So uh, <clears throat> what I look at when I buy it is I look at, let's just say that this engine is too far gone and I can't do nothing with it, then this becomes a parts tractor. So what on this tractor can I use for parts? Well, there's a mag. You know, a core for a mag is a hundred bucks about it anywhere. There's two good front wheels. You know, there's an overdrive right here. It's pretty nice. It's got a good fuel tank. It's actually holding, it's got stuff in it so it's not leaking. And I've got <coughs> back here on the back end, there's a PTO extension with the shield. And that's, some guys really like to buy those things. And then this is a pretty cool little umbrella holder. There's bits and bobs. There's a good muffler on it. You know, it's got good brakes on it got a carb on it if I need a carb down the road. It looks like it has a pretty good radiator. So worst case scenario, if you can buy it at a price where if the engine is too far gone or you find a crack in it somewhere that you didn't know was there, the head's got a crack in it or something, you can part it out and still not lose money. Then you're, then you're ahead, you know. So that's kind of what I looked at when I bought it. You know, that's kind of a this neat little old seat, kind of, you know, it's unique, it's different, you don't see those on all of them, so, so that's what I kind of weighed, I tried to get the price of the tractor, and what I could get for the real easy to take off first cursory looking parts, you know, what it would cost for me to buy those somewhere else, if you can do that, then you're money ahead, you know, and that's kind of the way I looked at it, so <clears throat> I'd love to get it running, so I'm going to try real hard to, you know, tear in there and see what I can find.